Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's WV Running Dawn here. And I got a friend with me today. Hey, it's Roy Fridley. And we've run, ran how long? Uh, two miles for you, I think. Two and a quarter. Yeah, cool. We've got two and a quarter miles for him. I'm at three and a quarter. Today is my review preview video. I, run, I was running by Roy's house and he wanted to uh, he wanted to come out and run with me for a little bit. So I'm taking him around the loop. We're about ready to get back to where his place is. So, uh, but uh, today, talking about what I did last week and what's coming, what to look forward to this week. So mostly seven to nine mile runs, one up tempo. I don't think I did it right, but I'll explain that here in a little bit. Quarter, like I said, about that many miles in with me today. We did some running, we did some walking. Didn't want to, uh, you know, get him too uh, overworked, but um, we walked a little bit, talked a little bit, that kind of stuff. It was a nice little uh, easy three miles with him. Now I got, uh, I'm at mile five, five and a half, I think, so I'm almost at six. But uh, I did my up-tempo run on Monday, or Tuesday, last week. I got eight miles in, and I'm a little, um, I don't think I did an up-tempo run. I think I did more of a progressive run. Up-tempo is more of a, uh, you keep your pace at a certain, a little bit higher than you're used to running, I guess, in normal, uh, tempo runs correct me if I'm wrong anybody out there that knows what tempo runs are or up tempos but uh, I got six miles with my up tempo run and I did two miles slower sort of like as a cool down but uh, and the rest of my miles were uh, just seven to nine I didn't get to run on Friday because my Friday was uh, busy from the time it seemed like by the time I got up to the, I had work and I had to take my mom to a doctor's appointment. And uh, after that, uh, it was late. She had to get her, I had to get, I was supposed to take her to a doctor's appointment, but that was canceled, but I still had to take her to get blood work. And then that blood work, uh, two labs were closed. We had to, I had to wait about almost 45 minutes to get my, mom into a lab to get the blood work done because they were closed each one were were closed when we went there but got that done had to take had to take see me to a uh, doctor's appointment bus was late getting the kid back from school so that took an extra hour and then by the time that was done at the doctor it was time to go get our fish dinner from our church and me and Stacy sat down and ate and by that time it was almost, well, I think it was six o'clock by the time I got home. So no running on Friday, but I got up early yesterday and did my 20 mile long run. Uh, that was three hours and 20 minutes. And then uh, today I'm up on this gorgeous day, ran some with my buddy Roy, and now I'm finishing it up. Should have seven miles or close, pretty close to that when I'm done. No, I'll have seven miles. But uh, after that, I'll tally up and see what the mileage is and report that back to you. So let's go. Okay, seven miles today for my last run of the week. That put me up to 51 miles for the week. So uh, I think that's, I don't know if that's my first 50 mile week of this training plan or not, but I would have had more if I would have been able to do that run yesterday or on Friday. But I got the next two weeks of Friday runs still on the training plan. So the mileage for the next couple weeks is going to be between 55 and 60 miles, I believe. So uh, another 20 mile uh, long run next weekend. And I think after that might be a 22 
I have a 22 to 24 mile long run coming up sometime in this plan I'm not sure but today makes makes it uh, halfway through I'm halfway through with the training plan I'm gonna tally up the miles see many how many miles I did for the for this training plan so far report that back to you guys but uh, for now that completes the review of week eight now on to my sombrero tapestry so I can tell you what is on for the preview for week nine well guys it's been so nice out here lately I'm going to sit outside and I want to give you my I'm gonna give you my preview for week nine out here on the outside so you can see well, how gorgeous the weather is right now. So here we go. Uh, looks like I have some easy runs, easy running of six to seven, seven to nine, and uh, another six to eight easy mile. Those are the easy mile runs with some harder workouts in between. This week's speed workout is going to be a, looks like a an interval. So it's it's going to be five to six 1,000 meter intervals. So for that, I'll try to get up to the track up here at the school. Or if I can't get to the track, I'll just go to the, uh, I'll go up to the fairgrounds. There's a long straight area there that I can run on, probably get a get a good uh, thousand meters there. And um, five to six of those with the three minute recovery jog in between. And that starts and ends with a two mile cool down or two mile warm up and cool down on each end so uh, it doesn't look too bad uh, hopefully I can get to get to do the 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 uh, 100 meter uh, intervals and looks like Saturday long run again another 18 to 20 mile long run uh, it wants me to do an up tempo run up for the second half 30 minute up tempo run and then um, finish with a cool down at the last one to two miles so that seems pretty reasonable to do right yeah so so not too bad uh, all in all it looks like another 50 to 60 mile week last week I did get in um, or this past week I did get in 51 miles so I should be getting should get pretty close to that and uh, looking ahead I have another 50 to 60 mile week next week and then I start, uh, I go into a little bit of a taper after that. But uh, uh, before I go, I've got one more thing I want to say. Be sure to like the video, guys. If um, you know anybody that might want to know more about the HQ 12 hour run or the higher running 50 mile ultra marathon training plan, please share the video and drop me a comment. Let me know how your training's going, what's going on with you, your training, getting in your activity, and all that good stuff. But most of all, guys, make sure you come back again so you can see me in the next one. I had to bring back the sombrero. Thanks for the comment, Dev Runner. Glad you guys like it. And don't forget to uh, give my buddy Roy a shout out down in the comments. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching.